Yo, what's going on guys man so in today's video what i got for you is a warzone tip video now what i have listed in this video you may or may not already know about but it's still gonna make a big difference in your gameplay i don't want to make this intro too long so all i have to say is just drop a like on the video if it does help you out in any way um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel just because we are going to be dropping more tip videos on the channel i'm going to do some high kill gameplay some best classes best weapons and uh map rotations man just subscribe to the channel and i got you guys for upcoming videos all right so first things first what we have is a tap to pick up and not a hold so like what you want to do is go to settings go all the way down until you find use slash reload behavior what you want to do is turn this to contextual tap actually because if you turn it to the middle one where it says tap to use you actually have to hold the square button to reload which is weird you know it doesn't really feel like call of duty but if you change it to contextual tap it, the game actually knows when you want to reload slash use stuff and you don't have to hold it for neither one and along with that i might as well just throw this in you can actually turn off crossplay right here for the br so if you want to turn that off you can when you're in the plane make sure that you're as close to the drop point or wherever you want to go as possible so do not jump if your plane is like far from it because you don't glide far make sure that you're like as close as you can get and then when you're in the air what you want to do is deploy your shoot and then cut it and then once you do cut it you get like a speed boost mid-air and then once that speed boost is up you want to deploy your shoot again and just repeat And then one last thing, like right before your feet hit the ground, you can actually cut your shoot, but you can cut your parachute early. You do not need it all the way until you hit the ground. All right, now I do just want to talk about weapons very briefly. So snipers are very good in this game. Now, the reason being is that some of them take one shot to the head, uh, depending on how many armor plates a person is carrying. But it's also good for like scouting out the area, um, taking long range fights. And also basically any assault rifle in this game is going to be hard to use over range. So I definitely see sniper rifles being a go-to for everybody. But I do just want to throw this in really quick. Do not be afraid to rock common weapons. Some common weapons are actually pretty good. I know for sure the MP7 is a great weapon. With no attachments, nothing, just the, the great common one. It holds 40 bullets in a clip. The time to kill on it is pretty fast. And it's just great for like close range fights. Alright, now we're on the vehicles. There's three things I want to go over really quick. There is no fall damage when you're jumping out of a moving vehicle. You cannot run teammates over. And then the last one is you can actually stand on top of the roof of the trucks. Um, you can lay down in the pickup trucks, like those big semi trucks with the, uh, the bed in the back. And you can actually fit three people on the ATV that only seats two. All right, now moving on, what we have is gas mask. And if you guys don't know this already, man, the storm is dangerous. Like there is no outrunning it sometimes and there's no out surviving the storm. But if you do get a gas mask, um, you get like an additional 10 seconds in the storm. And also the good thing about the gas mask is that it takes no space in your inventory and your character uses it automatically when needed. All right, now this one is a huge tip right here. So be careful of enemies that have self revive. Like you may think that you have the squad wipe and then that everybody's down, but out of nowhere, one of them pops up. So that's just like a pretty quick uh, tip. I'm gonna show you guys the two clips that I have where it almost got us in trouble. All right, now this one is a weird one. There's fall damage in the game, kind of. I don't really know the exact height or or how high you have to be to actually take fall damage, or if you take like half fall damage compared to like a full kill. I have no idea. I just tested this out in like a pregame lobby, and this is what I got. Just check out the video and just look at like the different heights on which I die and which I don't die. Kind of weird. Yeah, man, hopefully this video does help you guys. If it did not, uh, tell me why in the comments. But if it did, just go ahead and drop a like for me. And also subscribe for upcoming videos. 